Hi students, welcome to Future Doctor Meet Academy for the problem solving session. Topic today we are going to discuss is from chapter 8 electromagnetic waves. For this problems that is questionary problems already given in the previous session. Now we are going to discuss the solution for these problems. How to solve this problem? Let's move to question number 1. The ratio of contributions made by the electric field and magnetic field components to the intensity of an electromagnetic wave is dash. Here C is given as electro speed of the electromagnetic waves. Option A 1 is to 1, 1 is to C, 1 is to C square, C is to 1. We know electromagnetic waves that is C equal to E by B. E by B general formula or component means E naught by B naught. That is the peak value or amplitude of the electric field component. This is B0 is the magnetic field component is equal to C. What is C? C is the velocity of the electromagnetic waves. Then for the C equal to E0 by B0 or E0 by E0 by B0 is equal to C by 1. That's nothing but C is to 1. That is option D. Option B is the correct answer. Let's move to second question. An electromagnetic wave is propagating in a medium with a velocity V equal to V I cap. The instantaneous oscillating electric field of this electromagnetic wave is along Y axis. Then the direction of oscillating magnetic field of electromagnetic will be along dash. A, B, C, D is given as negative Y direction, plus is the direction, minus is the direction or minus X direction. That is, we know the formula V equal to E cross B or E cross B equal to V. E cross B equal to B. And your velocity is along I axis. So V I I cap. What is I cap? I cap is the what is I cap? I cap is the unit vector along the x axis. And the electric field is along positive y axis. Positive y axis means j that is j cap. This is j cap is the unit vector along y axis. Then we want to find the direction of oscillating magnetic field. Okay. Simply you know the formula that is cross product of two vector there. Here, just like filler, J vector cross dash equal to I cap. Fill in the blanks. J cap cross dash is equal to I cap. That is K. J cross K cap. J cross K cap equal to I cap. So, K cap is nothing but unit vector along yes, z axis that is positive z direction. So, option B. Option B is the correct answer. Let's move to next question, third question. Light with an energy flux of 25 into 10 power 4 watt meter power minus 2 falls on a perfectly reflecting surface at normal incidence. If the surface area is 15 centimeters square, the average force exerted on the surface is dash. So that is a formula related with the F average that is equal to 2 I A divided by C. Here I is only energy flux or intensity. A is area. C velocity of the electromagnetic wave. Substitute this value here. That is equal to 2 into I. What is the value of I? 25 into 10 power 4 watt per meter square. It is already in SI unit. So directly you can apply. 25 into 10 power 4 into A. A 15 centimeter square. Centimeter you have to convert into meter. So centimeter square into meter. Therefore, 15 into 10 power minus 2 power 2. That is 15 into 10 power minus 4. 15 into 10 power 4 minus 4. Divided by C. What is C? C is the velocity of the electromagnetic wave or velocity of light. What is the velocity of light? Because light only here mentioned is light. So what is the velocity of light? V into 10 power 8. 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay, no need to mention the unit. 3 into 10 power 8. Simplify this. 
3, 5, 15. And then 10 power plus 4, 10 power minus 4 getting cancelled. Then now 2 into 25, 2 into 5, 10. 10 into 25, 250. That is F average is equal to 2 into 25, 50, or 5 into 210, 10 into 25, 250. 250 into 10 power plus 8, when it comes to numerator, 10 power minus 8. 10 power minus 8. See, what, which is the option? Option is given in 10 power minus 6. So, take 10 power minus 2 inside this. Then, 10 power minus 2, if you take inside, 2.5 into 10 power minus 6. Unit, Newton. That is option 2.5 into 10 power minus 6 Newton. Option B. Option B is the correct answer. I think very rare only. Most of the students not able to get answered, I think. Okay. Next question. Fourth question. The velocity of electromagnetic wave is along the direction of dash. It's already in uh, question session we have discussed. B, E, and all mentioned in bold letters, block letters. What is it that represents? It is a vector quantity. Okay. Then C equal to E cross B. That is the general formula. That is E and B are perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of the velocity of the electromagnetic wave. So C equal to E cross B. That is only a velocity. Velocity of electromagnetic wave is E cross B. That is option B is the correct answer. Next question. Question number 5. The wavelength of light of frequency 100 hertz is dash. Wavelength is, we want to find. Wavelength is lambda. Lambda, you want to find out. What is the given data? Frequency of the light is given. What is the symbol of frequency? Mu. Mu is the symbol for frequency. Mu equal to 100 hertz. 100 hertz. And you want to find wavelength only. You know the formula C equal to mu into lambda. From that, lambda equal to lambda equal to C by mu. What is C? C is the velocity of the electromagnetic wave. How much? It is C equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. That is only C. Then substitute this here. 3 into 10 power 8, that is C value, divided by mu. Mu is 100. 100 we can write as 10 power 2. And 10 power 2 comes up, then 3 into 10 power 8 into 10 power plus 2 comes to numerator minus 2. Then 3 into 10 power 8 minus 2, 10 power 6. Therefore, lambda is equal to 3 into 10 power 6 unit meter. So, lambda equal 3 into 10 power 6 meter, that is option B is the correct answer. Let's move to next question, question number 6. If lambda B, lambda X and lambda M represents the wavelength of visible light, X-rays and microwaves, then that is something is greater, something smaller like that. And here for this, we should know the electromagnetic spectrum, that order you should know, that is in increasing order. Wavelength from shorter wavelength to longer wavelength. How many electromagnetic waves are there? There are seven electromagnetic waves. That is in the order we will say, in increasing order of the wavelength. First one is gamma ray. Second one is X-ray. Next one, UV, UV light. Next, visible light. Next, IR light. Next, microwave. Last one, radio wave. This is the order. Gamma ray is having shortest wavelength and radio wave is the longest wave. So from this, what is the question here? Lambda V is visible light. Lambda X, X rays. Lambda M, microwaves. Then they have given the order. So which one is greater here? Greatest one. Greatest one is here, microwave. Microwave is the greatest. Yes, microwave is the greatest one because lambda is increasing in this direction. So microwave is the first one, greatest, next followed by visible light. So this is first one and this is second and what is the next one? X-ray. X-ray will be third. So lambda M is greater than lambda V is greater than lambda X. That is option C is the correct answer. Let's move to last question. Pick out the longest wavelength from the following types of radiation. For this also, we want to write the electromagnetic spectrum chart. Again, we will repeat it. 
that is gamma ray. Next one is X ray. X ray. Next UV light. Next visible light. Next IR light. Next to IR microwave. Last one is radio wave. And here, apart from that, blue light and red light is given. Where it will be blue under red light? Blue or red will be in visible light. Invisible light, you know, with gear. What is with gear? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and the red. This is with gear. So already we discussed that lambda is in the increasing order from the shortest to longest. Then, so what's the question? Longest wavelength from the following time. Pick out the longest wavelength from this, which is the longest one. See, gamma ray shortest. Next, X ray is shortest. Next. Blue and red, there is a competition between blue and red only. Blue and red, blue is here, red is here. So, which is the longest one? Blue or red? Blue is shortest here and red is longest. So, red light. B, red light is the longest variable. Option B is the correct answer. Thank you, thank you, students. So, next session, we are going to discuss next chapter. First day, first session, we are going to give question that is a questionary session. And the next session only, we are going to solve the problem that is find the solution of these seven problems. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, students.